Good morning and welcome to 7 at 7. I'm Pastor Daniel and this is my amazing wife Amanda. Hello, we're so glad that you joined with us today. We're excited to talk with you. Yeah, I'm excited we get to uh, dive into God's Word and look a little bit about heaven. Uh, I've got a book I'm excited about, love, love this book, I want to recommend it. But heaven is one of the most misunderstood things that the Bible puts an emphasis on and tells us to look forward to. But if we don't have an understanding of heaven, we won't look forward to it. So I'm excited to get into that in just a minute. But before we do... Yeah, make sure you hop in the chat. Let us know that you're there. Let us know if you have any praise reports or prayer requests. We'd love to be standing in prayer with you or celebrating with you. I have a praise report from Stephanie. She said, thank you all for the prayers. My shoulder is on the mend. Praise Jesus. So we are celebrating with Stephanie and Rob. His sister had a very intense eye surgery and everything went well. So we are praising God that that went well as too. Yes. Well, <clears throat> Sunday, during Pastor Dwayne's message, he, he made a reference to Revelation 21, which was fun because last week we all dove into Revelation yeah. 21. <laughs> I was like, hey, <laughs> we just talked about it. Yeah, and he, he, he went through some of the same verses that I had we'd focused on. So like, oh, this is great. But when I, I was just kind of pondering it and recognizing that heaven, uh, the Bible puts it, focus, I got too much stuff <laughs> in my lap. Help, I got you. All right, there, you can hold the book. Um, <laughs> But as, as it goes through this, uh, the Bible tells us that Satan, in Revelation 13, 6, says his, he opens his mouth to blaspheme against God, his name, his dwelling, and those that dwell in heaven. And so it's not really, it shouldn't really be a surprise that heaven gets slandered, that heaven gets a bad reputation, and that the world paints a picture of heaven that's so different than what the Bible teaches. Yeah, how did they even come up with, like, naked babies on clouds with harps? Like, you know, like, that's what... I remember thinking that as a kid. Like, you just, like, oh, we're going to float around. Or you'd, sometimes you'd get a sheet. No. <laughs> yep. But like, even, like, all of the different shows and things I remember when I was younger. That's how they portrayed heaven. It was just weird and boring. <laughs> yeah, and, and it can be... For, for a lot of people, it can be considered the lesser of the evils they're like yeah. well burning forever would be really bad so maybe just floating in boredom um <laughs> won't be so bad you know hey after a thousand years i might not be too bad at the harp like <laughs> but uh god bless the person on the cloud next to me like just <laughs> but anyhow my, my point is that this is a myth yeah. um that the world has pushed that is so disconnected from what the bible teaches because, you know, the Bible tells us, encourage one another um, and build one another up just as you are doing. And it talks about doing this more as we look to heaven. And it says in Colossians 3.1, You and raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And so it gives us, hey, look forward to this. And as you look forward, it should give you perseverance where you are. But if, if we're picturing heaven as a spot that is mostly boring, then our our focus will stay on right now and we try to get everything out of now instead of using now to build up for then. And it's this huge difference. And so as I started looking at this, I was like, all right, well, what things, what is heaven like? And, and we read in Revelation 21, and I've got more notes than what I can fit in probably 20 minutes, and so it's not going to work. <laughs> but in Revelation 21... Um, he goes through and he states, he kind of messes everybody's mindset up here. He goes, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. We, not, I saw clouds with people in robes and harps. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And, and it's actually Randy Alcorn here in, in the book Heaven. So if you, if, you, if you're like, hey, I really want to dive into something, uh, this is awesome on the subject. And it is available in audio. So if you're like, I don't have time to sit down and read that of a book um, going back and forth to work you can um, do wonders but he's pointed out if I tell you that I'm getting a new car there is a, there is some questions that you don't know but there's a lot that you assume yeah you're like all right you can kind of count on the fact it's going to have wheels <laughs> steering wheel seats doors like there there is basics that you're like all right yeah. what because if it doesn't have any of those it's not a car you're like it might be a a transportation device it might be a hovercraft it might be a something but you look and you go if it's a car there's basics yeah 
And he goes, if it's a new heaven, a new earth, there's basics. And you can begin to understand. And then when we begin to look through God's word and we begin to look at how it paints heaven, it paints heaven beautifully with mountains and rivers and trees and, uh, and, and like fellowship. Yeah. Like it, it references, you know, when someone passes, like, hey, they were gathered to their people. They were gathered to their fathers. Yeah. Like where they're waiting for you. And there's... There's feasting. I remember being excited about that. Like, oh, we still get to eat. <laughs> yes, yes. And like the best feasting that he's prepared for, for thousands of years, prepped out and ready for us to party with him. And when we recognize that God is the one who created mountains to climb, rivers to swim in and to kayak in, and when he, when he goes through and goes, I want to make an adventure for you. And I was just using our iFit bike the other day and we were riding with somebody in Sweden and looking at, not Sweden, uh, Iceland, and looking at just the beauty and these waterfalls and all of this stuff going, I would love to travel more, but planes are expensive. Um, Especially right now. <laughs> yeah. But then when you look and you go, we're going to be able to travel and we're supposed to rule and reign with God on this new earth. It's going to be incredible. And I'm out of time, and we barely got into it. But I want you to get a a good picture. You can get ready the confessions, but um, uh, a picture of of heaven being amazing, and this spot filled with joy, filled with adventure, filled with fun. That's going to be fulfilling, um, and and know that it's something to look forward to. Yes, yeah, so good. Well, let's do our confessions, okay? I am chosen by God. I am chosen by God. I am adopted into God's family. I am adopted into God's family. I am redeemed and forgiven in Christ. I am redeemed and forgiven in Christ. I am seated with Christ. I am seated with Christ. Far above every enemy. Far above every enemy. Every spiritual blessing is mine in Christ Jesus. Every spiritual blessing is mine in Christ Jesus. All of God's promises are for me in Christ. All of God's promises are for me in Christ. I am God's workmanship. I am God's workmanship. Created in Christ. Created in Christ. For good works. For good works. I am more than a conqueror through him. I am more than a conqueror through him. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. And he flees from me. My prayers are powerful and effective. My prayers are powerful and effective. God, I thank you that we can have powerful and effective prayers, that your promises are for us, God, and that heaven is for us, that heaven is for real, that heaven is fantastic, that it is not boring, that it is full of joy, full of hope, full of adventure. And God, I thank you that we can look forward to it, that you would open up our eyes to see the wonderful things in your word, to see who you are and to see what you have for us. God, and I thank you for it. And God, I ask that you have your way in every part of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Be blessed, and we'll see you then.